Assalamu alaikum. Today we'll solve page 64 from countdown 4. Number A. Number A says in each set of equivalent fraction, circle the fraction that is in its lowest term. So here we have four questions and if we look at number one, here we can easily say 2 by 5, 4 by 10, 8 by 20, these fractions are equivalent fraction. And from this four fraction, one is the lowest one. Which one is the lowest? Look, if we look at the numerator, then 2 is the lowest one from 2, 4, 8, 6. Simply 5 is the lowest one from 5, 10, 20, and 15. So we can say 2 by 5 will be the lowest term. Okay, then we will give a circle here. Similar way, 3 by 7 will be the lowest fraction. And uh, here we can say 3 by 7 is the lowest one. Very simple. We can easily identify this one. Number 4, answer will be 3 by 10. Very simple. So here we will easily find out which one is the lowest term. And after finding out the lowest term, we will circle the fraction. Now, number B. Number B says, are these fractions in their lowest term? Right, yes or no. If we look at number 1, 1 by 12. 1 by 12 at numerator, we can see that is 1. That is already in its lowest term. So we cannot convert into another lowest term. So that is in its lowest term. So answer is yes. Very simple. Now, number 2. Number 2, we can easily say 4 by 16. We can divide 4 and 16 both by 2. Okay, then 2 to the 4, 2 to the 16. Again, we can convert it into lowest term by dividing 2 and 8 by 2. Then 2 to 1 to 2, 2 to 8. So we can say 1 by 4 is the lowest term of 4 by 16. Then number 2 will be no. Number 3, if we look at 10 by 22, we can see that 10 and 22, both are even number. That means we can divide 10 and 22 by 2. Then what will be the final answer? 2 5 to 10 and 2 11 to 22. So 5 by 11 will be the lowest term of 10 by 22. Now number 4. Number 4 says 6 by 17. Here 17 is a prime number. That means we cannot divide this 17 by any other factor. And we know that from the definition of the prime number, prime number is that number which has only two factors. One and itself. So 17 is a prime number and it has only two factors, 1 and 17. So 6 by 17 is already in its lowest term. Yes, this one is in its lowest term. Very simple. Number 5. Number 5 says 3 by 14. If we look at 3 by 14, we can say this 3 is already in prime number and we didn't find any common factor of 3 and 14. So this is already in its lowest term. So we can write yes. And number 6. Number 6 says 5 by 35. Here, 5 and 35, both unit digit is 5. So we can divide both number by 5. So 5 on the 5, 5, 7 the 35. So answer will be no. Very simple. Now, number C. Number C says reduce these fractions to their lowest term. So how can you solve it? Look, number 1, 18 divided by 24. We can divide 18 and 24 both by 2 at first. Okay. Then we will get 2, 9, 18, 2, 12, 24. Then we can divide 9 and 12 both by 3. Then we can say 3, 3 is a 9 and 3, 4 is a 12. So lowest term of 18 by 24 is 3 by 4. Next, number 2. Number 2 says 36 divided by 48. 36 and 48, both are even number. That's why we have to divide 36 and 48 by 2 at first. 2, 18, ja, 36 and 2, 24, ja, 48. So, 18 by 24. Now, we have to divide this 18 by 24 by 2 again. Then, we'll get 9 to ja, 18, 12 to ja, 24. Then, we have to divide this 9 and 12 both by 3. Then we'll get 3, 3 is a 9 and 3, 4 is a 12. So 3 by 4 is the lowest term of 36 by 48. Now, number 3. Number 3 says 15 divided by 25. Look, here 15 and 25, both number has same unit digit that is 5. And we know that a number will be divisible by 5 
if unique digit of that number is 0 or 5. So 15 and 25 both can be divisible by 5. 5, 3 is a 15 and 5, 5 is a 25. So 3 by 5 will be the lowest term of 15 by 25. Now number 4. Number 4 says 12 divided by 18. We can divide this 12 by 18 by 2 at first. Then we get 2, 6 is a 12 and 2, 9 is a 18. Then we can divide 6 and 9 both by 3. Then we'll get 3 to the 6 and 3, 3 is a 9. Now number 5. Number 5 says 10 divided by 12. 10 divided by 12. At first we have to divide it by 2. Then we'll get 2, 5 is a 10, 2, 6 is a 12. Then number 6. 14 divided by 42. Look, 14 and 42 both are even number. So at first we have to divide it by 2. Then we'll get 27 ja 14 and 221 ja 42. Then we have to divide this one by 7. Then we'll get 7 on the 7. 7 3 is a 21. So 1 by 3 is the lowest term of 14 by 42. Now number 7. Number 7 says 18 divided by 45. So how can we find out the lowest term? Very simple. At first we have to divide it by then we can say 45 and 18 both has same factor that is 3. So 18 divided by 3 that will be 6. 45 divided by 3 it will be 15. Now we can divide 6 and 15 both by 3 again. Then 3 to the 6. So 6 by 3 that will be 2. 15 divided by 3 it will be 5. So 2 by 5 will be the final answer. Okay. Now number 8. Number 8 says 21 divided by 56. So how can you find out the lowest term? We have to divide this fraction by 7. 7 3s are 21 and 7 8 are 56. So 3 by 8 will be the lowest term of 21 by 56. Now number D. Number D says write the ACF. ACF means highest common factor of these pairs of numbers. Number 1, 20 and 16. At first, we have to find out the prime factors of 20 and 16. Now, we know that we can find out the prime factors of 20 by dividing this 20 by prime number. At first, we have to divide it by 2. Why? Because 20 is an even number. 20 divided by 2, it will be 10. 10 divided by 2, it will be 5. Similarly, if we want to divide 16 by 2, it will be 8. Then again, 8 by 2, it will be 4. Then 4 divided by 2, it will be 2. So 20 will be expressed in this way, 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 5. And 16 will be expressed in this way, 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2. Then we have to find out the common factor. So these two is common and these two is common. So we can say ACF of 20 and 16 will be 2 multiplied by 2. That is 4. Very simple. Now number 2. 35 and 45. At first, we have to find out the prime factors of 35 and 45. How can you find out? Look, at first, we have to divide 35 by 5. Then we will get 5, 7, 35. Then 45 divided by 5, it will be 5, 9, 45. Then we have to divide this 9 by 3. 3, 3 is a 9. Then if we want to express this 35 into prime factors, then we can write 35 is equal to 5 multiplied by 7 and 45 is equal to 5 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3. Then ACF is, we have to find out the common factor. ACF, highest common factor. Look, this 5 is the common factor of 35 and 45. So ACF of 35 and 45 will be 5. Now, number 3. Number 3 says 17 and 7. Look. 17 and 7, both are prime number. And what is the definition of the prime number? Prime number has only two factors, one and itself. So 17 has only two factors, 1 and 17. 7 has only two factors, 1 and 7. So look at this. We have only one common factor, that is 1. So ACF of 7 and 17 will be 1. Number 4. Number 4 says 35 and 14. So how can we find out that? Prime factor of 35 and 14. Look, 5, 7, 35. And 14 divided by 2, it will be 7. Then we can express 35 in this way. 35 is equal to 
35 is equal to 5 multiplied by 7. And 14 is equal to 2 multiplied by 7. Now, which one is common factor right now? Look, this 7 is the common factor. So, HCF of 35 and 14 will be 7. Now, number E. Number E says, reduce these fractions to their lowest term. It is actually similar to number C. How can you solve it? We have to divide. We can divide 12 and 20, both by 2 at first, then again divided by 2. Or we can divide 12 and 20 by their ACF. We can easily identify that HCF of 12 and 20 will be 4. So if we divide 12 and 20 both by 4, we'll get 4 3s are 12 and 4 5s are 20. Then 3 by 5 will be the lowest term of 12 by 20. Now, number 2. Number 2 says 44 divided by 99. We can divide this fraction by 11. Then we'll get 4 11 ja 44, 9 11 ja 99. So 4 by 9 will be the final answer of number 2. Number 3, 10 divided by 100. When we see this type of thing, look, the unit digit is 0, then we have to divide it by 10. 10 divided by 10, that is 1. 100 divided by 10, it will be 10. So 1 by 10 is the lowest term of 10 by 100. Now number 4, number 4 says 25 divided by 35. Look, we have to divide it by 5. Why? Because the unit digit of 25 and 35 is 5. That means both one can be divisible by 5. 25 by 5, it will be 5. 35 by 5, it will be 7. Simple. Now, number 5. Number 5, 30 and 31. We will not get any common factor of 30 and 31. So this is already in its lowest term. We don't need to find out any common factor of 30 and 31. And another thing is that 31 is a prime number because 31 has only two factors, 1 and 31. Now, last one, number 6. Number 6 says 33 divided by 110. We have to divide this one by 11. Okay? 3, 11, 33, 11, 10, 110. So 3 by 10 will be the lowest term of 33 by 110. Now, number F. Number F says write the fraction. That is... Number one, equivalent to two by three, equivalent to two by three. And has a denominator that is 24. That means we have to find out the missing numerator. How can we find out? Look, if both one are equivalent, then we have to think about the relation between three and 24. Look, three, eight, ja, 24. That means if we multiply this denominator by eight, that we have to multiply the numerator by eight also. Two, eight, ja, 16. Then 16 by 24 will be the final fraction. Now, number two. Number two says equivalent to 3 by 4. Equivalent to 3 by 4. And it has a numerator 15. Now we have to convert this 3 into 15. How can you convert? Very simple thing. We have to multiply it by 5. 3, 5 is a 15. If we multiply this 3 by 5, then we have to also multiply 4 by 5. 4, 5 is a 20. Simple. Now, number three. Number three says reduce 16 divided by 32 to its lowest term. Very simple. How can you convert 16 divided by 32? Look, both are even number. So that's why we have to divide by 2 at first. Okay. 2, 8, 16. 16, 2, 32. Then we'll get 8 and 16. Again, both are even number. We have to divide right now by 2. Then 8 by 2, it will be 4. 16 by 2, it will be 8. Again, 4 and 8, both an even number. That means we have to divide it by 2 again. So 2, 2 is 4 and 2, 4 is 8. Again, 2 and 4, both are even number. That's why we have to divide it by 2. Then we'll get 2 and 2, 2 to 4. Or if we want, then we can solve in that way too. We can divide 16 and 32 both by 16. Then we'll get 16 on the 16, 16 to the 32. Simple. And in this way, we can easily solve this space. Thank you very much for watching this video. See you soon on next video. Until then, Allah Hafiz. Fiyamanillah.